So this is part one of my fluids and electrolytes NCLEX review and we're just going to start with a couple simple definitions just so we have a starting ground for moving forward. So here are the definitions we're going to cover. They're pretty simple and let's get started. So an atom is the smallest part of an element. It's composed of three parts, protons, neutrons, and electrons. So the protons and neutrons are in the nucleus of the atom and the electrons float around in orbits. They have a negative charge. And this atom right here, this is a uh, carbon atom. And we can tell that because it's got one, two, three, four, five, six protons and every element has a different number of protons so you can tell what element it is based on the amount of protons so we have six protons and if we go to our periodic table right here we can see that carbon is right here with the atomic number of six also we can tell that this uh, as, as this is displayed right here it does not have a charge because we have one, two, three, four, five, six electrons and six protons. So they cancel out to a, a neutral atom. So what is a molecule? A molecule is just simply two or more atoms combined to make a substance. So for example, this right here is an oxygen binded to a hydrogen and another hydrogen also known as water. So what is an ion? So an ion is an atom that has a charge on it. It can be either positive or negative. So for example, it, this is uh, our carbon atom again and we have one, two, three, four, five, six positives and one, two, three, four, five, six negatives. But if I was to take one of these away, then we would have one, two, three, four, five negatives and six positives. So we would have a charge of plus one. So what is a, a cation or a cation? It really doesn't matter how you pronounce it. I've heard it both ways. And this is simply an atom with a positive charge. So an atom that has lost at least one electron. So we, here we have a carbon again, and just like in the last example, if we lose one of these, we have one, two, three, four, five, five negatives. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six positives. So easy, you can just cross them off like this. And then you're going to be left with one positive. An anion is the opposite of a cation or a cation, and um, this is simply an ion with a negative charge. So this is one that has gained an, uh, at least one electron. So if I were to add a negative right here, we would have seven negatives and six positives. So we would have a, neg a charge of negative one. So, what is an electrolyte? An electrolyte is basically when uh, you drop a substance or into a solution and then it splits into its ions, so both positive or negative forms. So, for example, this right, this part right here, this is salt in a crystal form. As you can see, this, the, the sodiums are the, the purplish blue and the chlorines are the green and they're binded directly to each other. In a, in a crystal form, but when you drop it in water, like here, it disassociates. So now you have some uh, chlorines floating here, some uh, sodium floating here, and they're interacting with the water, and they're all separated and uh, dissolved into the water, basically is what it means.